the air brake system that applies and release the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the brake system service which of these is not proper time to apply the parking brakes when your brakes are very hot the air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement adds about feet to your stopping distance 32 to test air service brakes you should brake firmly when slowly moving forwards under normal conditions to engage the parking brake the driver must first let the air out of the spring brakes modern air brake systems are three different systems combined together they are the service parking and the brakes emergency the air scam forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum the brake pedal in an air brake system controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes before driving a truck or bus with a dual air brake system the pressure in each system should be at least psi 100 when is it okay to leave your truck unattended without applying the parking brake or chocking the wheels? Never. If your truck has a dual air brake system and one of the systems is low on pressure, either the front or rear brakes will not be fully operational. What is first thing you should do when a low air pressure warning comes on? Stop and safely park as possible. If your truck or bus has a dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to release the spring emergency parking brakes to move a short distance. For air brake systems in good condition, the air compressor should start pumping at about psi 100. What is emergency stab braking? Brake hard, release the brakes when the wheels lock, and reapply the brakes when the wheels start rolling. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form in the air storage tank and cause the brakes to fail. The modulating control valve allows you to control the spring brakes. The application pressure gauge shows how much air pressure you are applying to the brakes. If you do not have automatic tank drains, how often should you drain the oil and water from the bottom of compressed air storage air tanks? At the end of each day of driving. The brake power of the spring brakes depends on the service brakes being in adjustment. Excessive heat in the brakes can cause the brakes to fade or fail. How should you check that the spring brakes come on when air pressure in the system drops below a certain level? Park on level ground, shock the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. In air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used any time the vehicle is parked. You should know your brakes are fading when you have pushed the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. The proper method of braking when going down long and or steep grades after selecting the proper gear is to brake until your speed is about miles per hour below safe speed, then release your brakes. Five. 